So let's find a tank and stick a set of wings on it, tow it in, let it glide down, take the wings off, got a tank. So this thing's kind of got like swept wings. They're a hundred foot wingspan. Clearly, I guess you'll lift a fair chunk of tank. Yeah. No, it's a tailless design. So you've got tails, if you like, at the end of it, a bit like a delta, but not really a yeah. delta. Um, and they, they, Slingsby actually built a, a third scale model and sent it off to the wind tunnels, where apparently right. it did pretty well. And the only problem was there were no really suitable tanks that anyone could come up with for them to build a full scale model. And it kind of just got. I went by the way. I'm guessing no one got the memo to make a lightweight tank. A lightweight tank. I mean, could you imagine that? The good news is you're in a tank. The bad news is it's had to be really light. It's made from, yeah, it looks like metal, guys, but actually it's tin foil. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so I thought that was, you know, people did some funky stuff during the war. Yeah. And, well, two things. I think the Bane's bat. Um, actually, f- so they that carried on flying as a glider and survived until I think 1958. It was round the back of a hangar at Lasham when it was last well, seen.